57 rush hour commuters were injured Wednesday morning when a fast-moving ferry slammed into Pier 11 in Lower Manhattan. Authorities said the Sea Streak ferry crashed at 8.50 a.m. near Wall Street. People are scared, obviously scared. Nobody knew what was going on. You know, we knew we hit something, but nobody knew what was going on. The boat sustained a large gash to the starboard side bow, but it remained afloat and secured to the pier. Rescue workers evacuated passengers all morning, including two who fire department officials described as being in critical condition with head injuries. I, I, I went flying down a little flight of stairs. Uh, I kind of broke my fall. Uh, others, the guy next to me, who was literally sitting, I think, two seats away from me, uh, hit his head on something and was bleeding from his head. Uh, and people were yelling, but nobody really knows what happened, and I still don't know exactly what happened uh, or why this happened. Authorities said the boat carried 326 people, including five crew members. According to reports, all five, including Captain Jason Reimer, tested negative for alcohol after the crash. Reimer and the four other crewmen aboard the ferry declined to talk to investigators after the crash, referring authorities to their Sea Streak hired lawyers. According to an August 28th report in the nautical trade magazine Marine Log, the ferry was refitted with new propellers in the past year. They replaced the original propulsion water jets and cut the speed down to 32 knots. Coast Guard officials show that the boat had been involved in three other docking collisions since 2006. This is Brian Stillman with the New York Post.